And welcome back, folks, to What If Naruto Had Taken the Scroll Ceiling After the Mizuki Incident. Now, to clarify a few quick things, A, you'll notice that, that these are numbered slightly different now. Uh, someone noted that I, um, that the, one of the videos was labeled the same number as a previous video. I had to check and correct that, so that's been corrected. So we're on part 11 now. Uh, also, to just address a few things, um... In the story was, uh, someone said that there's no way the third Okage and or Donzo, particularly the third, would let Naruto out of the village. And I kind of argue that point a little bit, and I'm not changing it for the basis of the story. Uh, because if the Okage, because the third Okage is capable of uh, keeping tabs of individuals even outside the village, so as long as they're relatively in the land of fire. I could imagine, and I imagine he'd be able to keep tabs on Naruto still. He, he wouldn't, Naruto would not be completely on his own or, you know, isolated. So, that's my explanation of that. Bes um, besides that, not much else to go over. So, going into the part 11, we, about, what if Naruto had taken the scroll ceiling after, ce ceiling after Mizuki incident? Part 11. So, Basically, Naruto is getting back to the village with Jiraiya. Him and Jiraiya, you know, do what they normally did. They go through there. Naruto, still Naruto, would be excited. You know, climbs up the flagpole. And just, ah, it's like, well, welcome back. Or, hello, in the village, I'm back. And was it Sakura or Konohamaru? No, it was Sakura. It was Sakura first. And then Sakura, initially, um, uh, it, it does initially... Uh, say, and, you know, say hi to him and things along those lines, and he, he said, oh, Sakura, you know, they have a nice interaction, the only difference is that, what do you think, do I look more womanly? It's like, hey, whatever, it'd still be Naruto, <laughs> so it's like, hey, you look, the, you just look the same as always, Sakura, I was like, like, you have no idea how to talk to women, then again, <laughs> then, but he'd also think, again, it's not like she's your girlfriend, you get, you're dating the Hugo girl, which begs the question, I wonder where the Hugo, I wonder where she is. Um, so, uh, he, Naruto would probably, you know, come home and say, hey, boss, Poof. transforms, does the whole sexy jutsu thing. Though, this Naruto's still more mature than the initial Naruto. Oop, uh, he might still do the sexy jutsu, um, <laughs> and get smashed by Sakura, so that happens. Anyway, afterwards, he says, well, I'm gonna go find Hinata, uh, Hinata, uh, 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 I guess it, he, uh, him? Or Hinata-chan. Gonna go find Hinata-chan. You know, he looks for her. I imagine she probably... See, I don't know where they were in the canon. Either were they in the village or on a mission? I think they had just gotten back from a mission. Or no, I think they may have been on a mission. And after the whole um, issue... After the initial mission they were on, they got back. Well, no, they probably were in the village somewhere. Anyway, for the sake of, of sake, we'll say Naruto finds Hinata. You know, sitting there. Hiding in the tree, Hinata senses him there. Does a Byakugan, and Naruto just you know pops out like, oh, I, you know, like oh, Naruto. And then they both kind of take a look at each other and realize, oh shit, we've got <laughs> we got a lot more attractive. And then Hinata realizes it's Naruto and just clomps and is like Naruto. And then she just gives him a nice you know nice heat kiss like mm -hmm. and it's like oh and Naruto's a little reeling and even the fox is like oh. <laughs> Uh, looks like your vixen got uh, quite attractive, and you know, he's teasing him. Just says, "Shut up, Fox! Not right now, Fox!" Focusing on looking down briefly with his eyes, things. <laughs> so, and then Hiyashi shows up, and it gets a little awkward, but you know, things go roughly, the, oh, roughly the same. It's it's fine. It's good. Point being, Naruto eventually meets up with the rest of them. Meets up with Kakashi, gives him the book. Uh, so, and meets up with Sasuke, who, um, and I think Sasuke might actually, uh, try to take a shot at Naruto, kind of like Sai did to test him, so, Naruto would get out of the way just in time, and pull out a kunai, and they kind of cross blades for a second, and then they just, <laughs> ah, you got a lot stronger, Den's like, yeah, you're not so bad yourself, dweeb, uh, they, they give the, each other the kind of, you know, the rival look and things along as I give a smile, fist bombs, like, boom, boom. And then Ten Ten just <laughs> Ten Ten all uh, just looks uh, looks at Sasuke who and who was probably there with him at the time. It's like that was stupid as hell. Just hits him in the back of the head. Like, you idiot! We've got to you know what kind of trouble you can get in. 
get into it, even if it's just the test and friends. You're lucky that you're lucky to have one up your ass. Like, uh, and Naruto's like, it's like, really? Well, Ted, what do you do? Oh, I was with Sasuke when he, when he caught, uh, caught a sighty and decided to track. He's like, oh, you're with him. What were you guys doing? It's like, uh, Sasuke is in Sasuke is the one who's a little well. That's that's none of your business, Dweeb. And then Ted just like Poof, and then hits him again. Poof. What are you What are you embarrassed about? Ah, what are you do? Stop doing that. It's like we're dating. Well, what's it to you? I was like, ah, good for you. <laughs> so Nar Naruto, because Naruto remember seeing them at the party before he left, so, or the festival before the left. So I was like, good for you. Boy, how does Sakura Arino feel about that? Eh, you know, still, you know, Sakura's been a little bit of a, a little bit moody about that, though, unfortunately. <laughs> but it's like, for three years? It's like, well, we weren't fully, we weren't actually, you know, dating three years. I mean, goes, it's like, and then Ten is like, oh, so you don't think that was our first date? Well, I, I, I mean, we, yes, it was our date, but we weren't dating. <laughs> and Naruto's just like the fact that Sasuke's getting flabbergasted with his girlfriend. And he's even just marvels, like, I marvel at the fact you got a girlfriend. So... There'd be a lot of quirky interactions. Sasuke, Sakura, meanwhile, just meets up and, oh, uh, Naruto, Sasuke, ten ten. <laughs> She's this awkward. It's like, mm. uh, yeah, the lady Okai wants to see us three. And all right, so she, they go in, they go meet her. You know, she welcomes Naruto back. Naruto is not a chun. I don't think I gave Naruto tuning, did I? Did I give it? Nah. Yeah, yeah, I did. Actually, if I remember correctly, he did get the rank of Chunin, if I'm not mistaken. I gave him the rank of... I'd have to re-watch the video I gave it to him in, which was, I think, the last one or the one previous? Mm, I can't remember. I know I gave Shikamaru... I know Shikamaru, Shikamaru always gets Chunin in these scenarios because it never really changes. Did I give him the Chunin? Because I know I put him against Hinata, which gave a different... I don't think I gave him Chuni. If nothing else, we are going. We'll say he's not for what it's worth. Uh, everyone else is like everyone else is Chuni and uh, you know Neji's joining, and they hear about Gara. So the team. Uh, so uh, as it is, you will. You guys will. Uh, you'll be joined up as Team Seven once again, as you seem to uh, work pretty well in the Chuni exams. Obviously, Naruto was never originally part of Team Seven. Uh, Sai, Sai was, and then Sai's actually there. <laughs> and it's, you know, but don't worry, you'll be a rotational members. Uh, yeah, basically they're gonna rotate in and out one person every mission if they need, it, and you'll be as an one person will be as an auxiliary. So when we call the team, we'll figure out which members have abilities that are tailored to the scenario, and the other person will be a reserve. Excuse me. So Kakashi just uh, Kakashi's there. It's like, uh, is this acceptable? And then everyone's just like, yes. And then, but also we want to gauge where how much you've grown over the years. So why don't we uh, do a little test? So it's the bell test again. Only this time it's not just Kakashi. Kakashi's not stupid. It's like, no, no, I'm gonna need a little help here because you were all at minimum tuning or higher in terms of your strength despite your rank. So I'm gonna need a little help on this. Uh, and luckily, I brought I brought some friends to help me. And then all of a sudden, poof, <laughs> and this smoke's like, yeah, that's right, the handsome beast of the Hidden Leaf Village. What was he? He's the green guy. Lee called him the green himself, the green beast. I think a guy calls himself the blue beast. Oh, the handsome blue beast of the Hidden Leaf Village, my guy. And then all of a sudden, and the sexy, sassy Knoichi Anko meets, I can't remember her last name, Anko M. Uh, I picked Anko for that simply because I think it's fun, uh, fine to diversify it a little bit, have a uh, Kunia, uh, Knoichi on there as well. Plus, she would have probably trained at least with um, Hinata a little bit for like reflexes, things along those lines. She's also, as far as we know, she is a powerful ninja. Compared to like other ninjas, though, she's a little lacklustered. Um, and then we know she really doesn't have much of a uh, our story past the tuning exam. But still, I think it's it'd be nice to give Anko a little um, little attention. And I believe she's using she's an earth and fire user, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, plus the snake juicer, jutsu that she has. So, uh, you know, it's very simple. You're going to have to get the bell from all three of us within a lot of time. So, you know, everyone, and I say go, go. 
Uh, and then, you know, they both are just looking on there. Sasuke, by the way, would probably have something akin to a tuning mixed with an ombu style uh, wardrobe. And and his that blade, more or less, that Orochimaru gave him, except it, the slightly altered variation of it. Uh, so they both, uh, and you know, Kakashi, Sasuke would know how strong Kakashi is because they he's been training with Kakashi and probably has a little bit of training with Guy also to improve his taijutsu. <laughs> which is which Sasuke seeing Guy there'd be like, who hey um, Sakura you want Guy? <laughs> uh, as long as I don't have to go and Sasuke probably uh, Sakura would probably be like, as long as I don't have to go against Anko. And then I was just like, oh, I guess I get Kakashi then. This should be fun. And then you know everyone disappears. Everyone disappears, but Naruto again. I think Naruto would do that opening uh, attack he did initially where he does transforms a clone turns a clone transforms it into a shuriken kakashi gets behind him and then he's got the kunai and then disappears again yeah sakura meanwhile is trying to go toe to toe a guy who's physically or who skill wise is the better fighter but physically sakura can basically do uh tsunade level hits so he's she's counteracting his blows with just pure power and reaction just boom 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 this guy, though, is still far more skilled and faster than she is, so he's ultimately just, you know, he gets a couple grazes, and, and she has to go flying, but she uses smoke bombs, uh, things along those lines to get the better of him. And then her and Naruto probably would switch out, and then she uses her strength to find Kakashi like she did. Naruto, meanwhile, is going up against Guy. Um, guy is about to, you know, Guy comes in with, um, uh, you know, leave hurricane and but uh naruto immediately just you know uses like gale palm to just <sighs> soften the blow then grab him and then just using um using his chakra uh just enhances uh, using some of the fox's chakra just throws guy and then fire styles guy immediately gets out of the way and they're just squaring up meanwhile the fight between anko and sasuke is a bit more in sasuke's favor he's got using uh fire just style his blades the large amount of shuriken he keeps in the seals on his hands. Um, but she's no slosh here. And then she's like, oh, let's have some fun here. Huh, huh, huh Sasuke? <laughs> uh, maybe she might be a little flirtatious with him or something like that. But then she summons like a bunch, a couple of like snakes just from nowhere. Not like the huge ones, but pretty solid sized ones. And they come coming out, uh, coming for uh, Sasuke. Just <laughs> almost like a hydra, like, they're not, they're not actually Hydra, but like three snakes in the Hydra formation just, and then Sasuke has to more or less get out of there. He does a fire style jutsu, but you know, one of the snakes just swaps it away with the tail. He has to get out of the way then, uh, but it's too late and the snake swallows him, but he puffs in, to, he basically dissipates in the lightning, shocking it. Turns out it was a lightning call, and then Sasuke comes, puts stabs on the other snakes, which then pops away, and then he comes in with a, not a lightning blade, but charges the blade with a, li a lightning uh, chakra and then just um uh, like st like a laser kind of uh cut just uh, towards anko who uses more i'd have to believe she's a skill with sembon some from what we saw just um shunk fire uh does some uh, sembon or fires a kunai with a seal that just absorbs the chakra and then uh they pretty much rotate out where kakashi takes on Sa uh, sasuke whereas Aku's going after um, Sakura, both of which are just like, ah, crap. Meanwhile, Naruto is not having the most difficult time with Guy, but he's not having an easy time with Guy. He, well, excuse me, is uh, doing the best he can to keep up with him, enhancing his reflexes with the fox's chakra, but his skills overall can't match Guy. Guy even opens up the... Uh, one of the inner gates for the primary lotus and then you know grass says sorry naruto but this is the end. primary lotus and then naruto just says a tornado fist and just <sighs> uses the tornado fist to change the momentum which causes them to break a uh, break apart they both hit the ground and they're both a little worn re worn and weary but naruto's ready to go charge up tornado fist again and this time he even uh figures out like no, this is a perfect time to try this one guy sensei it's like mm hmm and all of a sudden the wind is flowing around his legs and so now he's got tornado fists around his feet, legs and on his arms so he's like let's try this i'm gonna call it the wind style fight of uh, uh style of fighting and then they go toe to toe with each other except now guy's gotta try to not to hit the tornadoes around his legs and arms which is hard because he can't strike without risking naruto blocking and he finds that the hard way because he nearly comes in for the kick and naruto just 
blocks and this re it immediately rebounds off the tornado and the Naruto comes in this <sighs> blast of the tornado it's coming at guy who has to get out of the way again snags his arm this time though just he goes flipping around Naruto and then you know throw in some kunai to try to get the bells it does go flying but he immediately grabs it and a guy grabs it and is like oh that was close young Naruto but you will not <laughs> you are we're not uh, done yet so <laughs> and him and Naruto are just going toe to toe. Naruto even decides to it's like, let me show you a little bit of what I learned, guy said saying, then actually puts on the fox cloak for one tail. And uh, they go toe to toe again. Guy's like, oh, this is great. This let the power of youth explode, Naruto. And he actually decides to go to the fourth gate. Remember, guy can go into those gates and unlikely and not hurt himself. Granted, when he went to the seventh, it nearly burned out all of his sweat glands. <laughs> and um uh, when he went to the 8th, it was going to kill him, but Naruto saved his ass. But apart from that, he can go all the way up to 6 and generally be okay. Uh, it, I mean, he might be tired out a bit, but he can generally be okay. 4, that's nothing for Guy. He's fine. He can do 4 without too much, uh, too many, uh, too much issues. So, you know, they charge against <laughs> Naruto. He doesn't really care about getting the bell, frankly. He's just honestly having a great time actually physically pushing himself. So he's got the tornado fist, the fox cloak. They go again and he clashes. Boom! And the it's, it's enough that it blows Sakura and, and uh, Anko towards Sasuke and Kakashi, who are like, whoa, those guys are really going hardcore on that. And then Sasuke, having found a summoning contract, also summons. Now, the thing about the summoning contract is that we know he got a summoning contract with the snakes thanks to Narjumaru. In the, some of the manga or some of the fan fictions, they give him a summoning contract with cats. And we know he got a summoning contract with hawks later on. I don't know where the hawk one came from, um, but he found it. I like to go with um, the cat one. I think the cat one's a, a cool one to go with. And uh, so he summons, you know, probably like a a tiger of some a a, a tiger of some kind, uh, made with some battle armor. It's like you already saw Skirt. Ah, oh, Sasuke, uh, it's been a while. It's like, yeah, we're having a little test, and we're getting to try ourselves. Oh, I see. It's like, so we get, so does that mean I get to try to kill him? Hey, you can try. It's like, oh, fun. And so the, the tiger comes, and he actually channels some earth chakra in him, because we know that summoning animals can use jutsu and chakra. Uh, so, you know, he's got, like, armor and blades on him. And, you know, he's coming at the, the snakes, uh, and then oh, they're duking it out. Anko tries to, uh, t Anko's able to get, uh, tag Sasuke there with a kunai, which hits a nerve cluster, just, his arm goes dead, like, damn it! Uh, so he activates his Sharingan, finally, and Kakashi has his go, and they go Sharingan to Sharingan, trying to avoid them. Anko, it's like, gotcha now! <laughs> with his striking shots, like, and then he, not, and Sasuke allows himself to be cut, like, aw, too bad! It's too bad, so sad, yeah, too bad for you! It's like, <laughs> and then what? And then, all of a sudden, he sees the little hand, she sees the little hand sitting there, and it's like, Poof. and instead of a log, it's Sakura, and Sakura's just got a smile and says, got you. He's like, what? And then she just grabs a snake with her free hands, and Uncle realizes, oh, crap. Poof. And then she just pulls her towards him, just boom, just dicks. Uncle just, oh, crap. And then pretty much knocks Uncle out cold. So, uh, Kakashi tries to get the, uh, bell off her but it's too but sasuke just comes in still with a limp hand with fire enhancing his blade instead where it's just red hot just, now kakashi's just trying to avoid it brings out a you know desert earth wall to just block it he, sasuke carves a, just a gash into the earth was able to get away kakashi then does water dragon jutsu to flood the field grabs anko basically uh delivers her to tsunada because it's pretty much anko's done at this point um and then meets up with guy <laughs> and guy already going to the fifth gate naruto having to go into three tail mode with tornado fist style just boo 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 and it's just it's powerful and it's just destructive and uh you know guy is a guy we need to regroup fast <laughs> and uh we need to regroup and rethink this i know kakashi and then he just uh powers down uh, but and these kids have gotten uh, gotten presently strong. They are great. It truly is a remarkable generation of students we have, Kakashi. It's like, yes, it is. Now let's get out of here. And all of a sudden, they finally realize they're starting to get a lot more tired, even with all the training they've done. They're like, starting to get a lot more tired. What's going on? And all of a sudden, Naruto kind of powers down himself. Just, it's like, 
It's like I was wondering how long it would, t- for the, it would take for that to take effect. It's like what are you talking? It's like what are you talking about? And all of a sudden they see uh, with Naruto out. Naruto's right on the edge of this, but there's like this, this like uh, square and X and um, some markers and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, poof, these walls of chalk would come up. Just, Thin but powerful, like they wouldn't be able to escape it easily. And like they realize, what what is this? What's going on? All of a sudden, they see several Naruto clones that have been hiding in the bushes. Naruto created them pretty early on during the fight with Guy. Uh, that have basically been doing a chakra seal the whole time. That's been absorbing chakra in the area. <laughs> and Naruto explains this, and they realize like oh, he he's master of jutsu like this, and like um, oh. <laughs> and they both like. Ah, it looks like we got a play here, guys. Like, so it does, Kagashi. Uh, well, you must be extremely par- proud of your students. Yeah, I guess I am. And they both pass out, and Archie's like, oh, man, guy is a beast. And she's like, got him. And then gives Sasuke a bell, and they always like, we're good. And then the Ed, you know, Sonata comes, wakes them up, gives them some, you know, soldier pills to just get them their chakra back a little bit, wakes them up. And everyone's impressed, and You'll notice that um, I didn't give them just a clear cut win. They had to work for the win. And Naruto's pretty beat, exhausted. Sakura got beat around a bit, and Sasuke's arms got numb for a while. So these guys on their own probably aren't strong. Like one on one, are not stronger than any of the uh, ninjas that are involved. Save for maybe or that they fought. Save for maybe Naruto. He's definitely stronger than Anko. <sighs> Pure power wise, he probably outranks Kakashi or Guy, but Ka- they have far more experience and overall skills under their belt, and are masters of particular fields. Like Guy's mastery of Taijutsu completely blah uh, beats Naruto's, even though Naruto was able to create something that countered him. Pure skill, Guy wins, and Kakashi has just too many things on his play us. Uh, ability roster that could outrank Naruto, particularly the fact that he's got a manga Q that we haven't gotten to yet. So just the fact, just because the fact that Naruto was able to go like beast mode on Guy and go toe to toe with him like f- at fifth gate doesn't mean he'd be able to beat like eighth gate or seventh gate Guy at this point. Um, it was just a circumstance. Plus they weren't really going to kill each other. Um, it's just one of those things that um, uh, they, they, it was circumstance that allowed him to really win the day so every you know sonata comes great and dry comes they all congratulate him and uh sonata even says um uh, but even looks to naruto and yeah i'm gonna do this just to even things out a little bit that uh due to circumstances you can't uh, you know, haven't taken the tuning exams again but given your rank and ability we feel it's okay that we're going to give you the rank of tuning this time this is just to mitigate the fact that if i did give him tuning i wanted to have tuning still and that i didn't give him tuning I'm not, I can't remember. I'll have to show. I'll go through the videos again later on. Either way, he's going to be tuning regardless. So, and everyone else shows up who was watching, like team, like all the teams that were available, like Team Eight with Hinata, Kurenai, Kiba, and Shino had actually seen this, and they were like, "Wow!" Um, I think Shikamaro, Ten, um, Tamari, and um, and Choji and Guy's team, because Tenten's obviously dating, uh, dating uh, Sasuke. They all saw that, and they were all like, whoa! It's like, this was awesome! And they were all probably pacing bets, to which Tsunade probably lost them all. Because uh, <laughs> we know it's a bad omen if she wins a bet. Um, and, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it. But we'll, we'll end it with this. The whole Dadara sasuke thing, uh, Sasuke, Gara thing, that goes to say, they got to go rescue Gara. That's, that's going to happen later on. Um, and Sai didn't join in this because Sai really wasn't around for a lot of it, but he was there watching and he re- goes to report back to Donzo. So we'll leave it with him saying, uh, reporting to Donzo about how strong the Uchiha and how strong the Kyubi container got. And Donzo is actually a little shocked at just how powerful the Nine Tails container got, how Naruto got. So he's like, you know, fortunately you're, you're my eyes and ears, Sai, so da, 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 da. That's where we're going to leave it out, off right now. Um, we're going to go into the Rescue Gar arc pretty in the next video, and we'll keep it at that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Spare Magic, re- um, What Ifs, anything you do in the channel, put that in the comments below. Sorry I feel seem a little off and scatterbrained. This is actually Saturday right now. I'm used to doing these on Sunday, but I've actually got things I'm doing tomorrow in the day. Box officer should be able to do still fine. 
Uh, but yeah, I've actually got things I have to do tomorrow. So, well, have to. I'm doing some things tomorrow, so it's going to make doing the what if a little tricky. Uh, doing it within a – smacking my lips again. Sorry about that. That one, I quickly caught myself. I realized I was smacking my lips on that. Sorry. Someone – someone uh, I've had been – actually, someone brought it up twice that I smacked my lips a little too much. I'm not trying to do that. So, anyway. Um – Point being is that I w wasn't confident I'd be able to do what if tomorrow or at least in a reasonable time frame. So I wanted to do it now. That way I'll be able to upload it in the morning when I get up and then I'll just have the box office to do tomorrow. Till then though, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time folks.